Hey Rockets, and welcome to the 23rd week of school. Before we get into all the fun with Winterfest week, here's a quick recap of the winter play Eurydice. It was not such a commercial success, but it did have fairly positive reception from audience members. Um, and it was really fun to like get to interact with them and their energy. What was your biggest challenge in performing this? Um, this is a very dramatic and abstract piece, so it was it was definitely a challenge. It's nothing we haven't really done anything like this before. It. Uh, we had a little bit lower of a, like a turnout, I thought we would, but it was still really fun. Um, all of our cues were pretty good. The music went great. Um, I'm hanging out with our musician Simon pretty much the entire time. Um, I think all of the actors did a really good job. So I think overall it was a great opening night. Uh, do you want to talk about more of what your roles are in the production of the show? Uh, sure. I'm on Run Crew, so I sit backstage and I either push platforms out or I tell people we have these set of elevator doors. And we even have uh, Elliot, who's a senior, who pulls down like and has like glitter or like confetti rained down and it's a really cool effect. I really like it. Um, I'm on costumes crew so I first helped uh, get together all of the costumes um, but I am also helping out makeup crew and I'm doing one of our actors makeup. Were there any challenges that had to be overcome when putting this together? Um, there were a lot of monologues throughout the show so that must have been very difficult for our cast members to remember but other than that I don't really think so. A traditional Greek show um, is kind of difficult to put together and it's not a usual production that you would see a high school put on as well as kind of like the genre of like costumes and everything it was kind of interesting to put everything together um, but overall I think uh, what we envisioned turned out really great. Mr. Wonderlick what were your thoughts on this play? Uh, as always I was incredibly impressed by the actors and just the entire production from the set to the lighting to the sound so our kids are amazing our director is amazing so I really enjoyed that part and now for this week's sports update It was, a, it was a hard fought battle, you know, each team back and forth, first and second half. Uh, we played really, both teams played really well on offense and defense and came down to the end of the game. And yeah, I just thought we could have played a little harder on the defensive end, you know, bench, shout out the bench, we brought great energy to the game. Uh, you know, we just could have gotten some more stops at the end, but it's all right, it happens. Seen some good things. It seems some, you know, things we can work on, and definitely, definitely uh, proud of the way the guys are wrestling today. We're really getting after it, and th th this is just the start of the postseason. We're gonna see these guys the next couple weekends in a row. How are your matches today? Uh, I feel like I did did pretty good. Um, my finals match obviously didn't didn't go the way I wanted to, but like I said, just just gonna get back in the room and fix a few things and I'm going to beat them next weekend at the regional tournament. Kakana has a tough team obviously so you know a couple of our guys are matched up with some of their studs and I think I think we enjoy going to war every week with them.
With past events now out of the way, we can turn our attention towards the events that are happening this week as part of Winterfest. Uh, in chronological order, we will start with tonight's band concert. Well, Bandorama is our big concert that the entire district uh, plays in. There's all the way from fifth grade to the high school playing, and for the high school we are playing Stars and Stripes. It's an American march. We are also playing a medley from the hit uh, How to Train Your Dragon, and we are playing multiple songs from there, and I think it'll be a very fun time. Uh, and do you know when and where? It's, it will be in the field house on Monday is at six seven i do believe and how has it been uh practicing and preparing these pieces oh it's been a blast uh especially how to train your dragon that has been especially fun and with stars and stripes we had to learn piccolo and all that kind of stuff so i thought that i think it's going to be a phenomenal time Sign-ups for the Trivia Night were due a long while ago, so we'll skip over that. But on Wednesday, students can participate in the third annual blood drive that is happening at, all day at school. Alright, so the National Honor Society is sponsoring a blood drive next Wednesday, the 8th. Uh, if you want to sign up, I believe the link will be in Rocket News on Can Canvas. And you can sign up for any mod, miss any class. Uh, there's a lot of free food and drinks, so... Come and donate blood, feel good about it, and get some free food and drinks. Yeah, I uh, think he got it all. Make sure if you're under 16, you need a permission slip from your parents. Uh, do you want to say something about why someone should donate blood? Uh, I think like every three seconds someone in the U.S. needs blood, something like that. So just being able to help out somebody in need is an important thing to do in your life. On Wednesday night, students are invited to attend the movie night. We will be showing the film 10 Things I Hate About You in Pickard on, at 7 p.m. Interesting thing about this film is that the male lead, the actor, the guy who played the male lead, went on to play the Joker. So that's another film you could watch if you like that actor. Uh, to get into this, you have to bring a canned food donation. Make sure do not eat in Pickard. The maintenance guys do not want to clean up after you. Thursday night, we will be having the Casino Night hosted by Student Activities Leadership Team. All right, so Casino Night is an event hosted by SALT, and this will be happening next Thursday from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. during the Winterfest week. Uh, Casino Night is $1 for admissions, and you'll be getting an envelope full of Rocket Buck money, but um, we will be doing poker, blackjack, certain Casino Night games like um, roulette, and we also have other games such as Spoons, uh, Bingo, and Plinko. That all involves different various prizes for anyone who attends. Yeah, so we will have uh, our teachers will help out actually. So we see some of the needed teachers here be dealers for certain games. So um, it'll be pretty fun. Um, I'll say it'll definitely be fun for a lot of people in the school. And uh, we hope to just have a good turnout. Also on Thursday is the Winter Orchestra Concert. Oh, Robert, would you like to say anything about... Or the orchestra concert next Thursday? So yes, as she said, it's next Thursday at 7.30 p.m. It's going to have the freshmen, the concert, and the symphony orchestras, all string instruments, uh, night of music, and all of that. Symphony is playing this ver this one very long piece that is four pages and long, and it's, be and it's being thrown together at the last minute, but it's, it's sounding pretty nice so far. We're also playing the Habanera from Carmen, which you may recognize as one of the songs from the opening scene of Up, when the guy is going down his stairs with the electric chair thingy so yes uh, come to the orchestra concert thursday night 7 30 and hear some of these fun pieces okay thank you robert the rest of the calendar is fairly self-explanatory but we have some information about the dance to share with you tickets will be sold before and after school every day of the week at the cafeteria and the dance will run from 8 to 11 p.m on saturday and Tickets are $10, or if you can bring in a non-perishable food donation, that's five. Uh, guest passes were due last week, so you're limited to getting people at school um, to go with you and such. This week's weather, we'll see a mix of everything with some precipitation on Thursday. That's all for this week. Rockets be amazing. <laughs>